Hey guys, uh, today was a pretty good session. Deadlift, bench, and then deadlift again. Started out with some deficit pulls. Here we go. 465 for four doubles after the warm up sets. First set here was with a hook grip. Didn't use a belt on any of them. And my speed was not as fast as usual on these, but that was partly intentional. Um, my hamstrings and groin were pretty tight going into the workout, and I knew I had a lot of deadlifting uh, to come later, and so I just focused on, on making those pulls safe and not trying to hurt myself going too fast. Ended up doing something like 21 sets of bench. That was one of the doubles up at 295. Worked up and did uh, three triples at 315. Back down, two doubles at 295, two triples at 275, two sets of four at 255. Uh, set of five at 235, set of six at 225, a few other sets at 225, and then finally this set here of uh, 10 reps at 225. And I was really booking through the bench pressing too. I All I was thinking about was the second round of deadlift that was coming up, and so everything else was just, I wasn't really concerned with the rest periods. I knew I was going to hit every set. It was just a matter of how easy they were going to feel. And on the way back down, uh, the benches started getting a little rougher. The, the way up is much easier than the way down and when you're doing 21 sets of something. But here come the deadlifts. I uh, Here's the work sets were 605 for supposed to be four sets of two and I told myself if they felt good I was gonna do something crazy at the end and spoiler alert they felt good so this is the second set here focusing more on the speed now that I was warmed up I was less worried about anything popping on me so had to just really dig in the pulls, liking the speed, liking the way they felt. My hips aren't shooting down super far, but I usually pull better when my hips are higher. So here it is, epic drop set. Start out at 6:05. Uh, got my buddies Jason and Justin to to strip plates for me, and I told them I said I'm gonna go until I feel like stopping, and I'm gonna put the bar down, and you guys just go plate at a time and we're gonna see how how much we can make this hurt and so that was 605 got six reps uh, pretty happy with that I'm not that's that's not too far off the amount of reps that I've hit in that with that that weight range just in general in like a regular max rep set so I left probably a couple in the tank too so I'd be able to to do a couple of uh, at the lower weights because it's supposed to be a drop set not a max rep at, at a heavy at a heavy weight so back down to 495 and now I'm starting to feel it uh, if you ever try anything like this I guarantee you your second your second part of the set is going to feel harder than the first and it will continue to do that the entire way down so hit five reps at 495 I was pretty happy with that too so so far we're at 605 for six 495 for five Went up 405. This still is not it's not a little baby weight. This is this is plenty of weight to to push yourself. And you can see that my hips not shooting down, uh, not not quite getting down there low enough now is really starting to affect just my stamina. I can tell you that my both my erectors and my glutes and my hamstrings were all just starting to burn really hard in this in this last couple of last couple of mini sets. Ugh. Uh, anybody thinking of trying something like this, I would urge not to do it very often. This is a sh this is just a stressful kind of kind of set that your body is just usually going to need a lot of time to recover from. I mean, not just not just before you work out again, but before you do any kind of of work with your deadlift again. You can you can see how much stress it puts on you physically, because I'm pretty good at pulling reps, and this is this is beating me up pretty good. Right there was 315, and on that fifth rep, I was struggling to lock out the weight, and it is just demoralizing to feel that to to start. I mean that that weight is half as much as I started this set with, and I'm having a harder time locking it out for one rep less. You know, I'm trying to take as long as possible in between. Jason's telling me just to get at it and reminding me it's only 225. Little does he know that 225 never feels as heavy as it does after doing all those other reps. Oh. Yeah, I'm hurting. 
That's that's tough. There we go. I told him one more, but I I know myself that it's not really going to do me any good to be repping out 135 for no matter how tired I am. That's just kind of a a wasted set. So I decided it would be it'd be more fun to try to power clean it and press it overhead just to tell myself that. That, that I can I can end the set without without failing on something and throw it down in defiance. I'm pretty happy about that. Should have left the gym. <laughs> Should have left the gym after that. Decided I wanted to hit a little bit of core, and you can see on these floor squats, these are just the slowest floor squats that I think I've ever done. Normally I like to really fire my hamstrings and shoot through. And, and stand up and use it as a whole body exercise, but this is kind of just, man, I can't even get up off the ground on that one. Oh, I, my, my body was starting to just tell me it was time to be done. So, of course, what do I do? Two more two more sets of core over here. Just, for, I don't know. I, I must really just like to hurt because this... You should just leave the gym after. If you do a drop set of deadlifts, leave the gym afterwards. Don't try to do core. You, you feel like you're doing more work, but you end up just looking like a moron because everyone knows that that you've done enough for the day. There you go, Ben. Yeah, touch the touch the pad and your heels. Okay. Well, next workout, if I'll be able to walk in a couple days, is going to be uh, squats and bench press. Looking forward to see how that goes, and uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and let me know by leaving a like rating. It's interesting to see how the rating system goes on these, so I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.